Douglas calls this his dream machine. It's kind of an all-weather, motorized tricycle. It's also an attention grabber. We've had motorcyclists travel for miles along the berm and along in the passing lane, looking at it from all directions and trying to cruise around and then giving us the high sign as they go around. It's, it's an incredible adventure. Bob Douglas is not an engineer. He's a church pastor. We'll be back. His bachelor's degree is in accounting. His master's in divinity. The car was born in his imagination. It took six months to put the design on paper, another six to build it. The automotive mutant is a hodgepodge of discarded scraps. The exterior is Corvette fiberglass. All the mechanisms in the front are VW parts. Power comes from the rear end of a wrecked Honda motorcycle, cooled by an ordinary house fan. An old bicycle handlebar serves as the gear shift and the dash, well, it's made of a wooden road sign. The only item missing is a shoehorn to squeeze in the passengers. I figure it's about a size 10D, and you have to just about wear it, not <laughs> drive it. You mean a shoe size? Yeah, it's about a shoe size. <laughs> Despite its size, Douglas says the three-wheeler is sturdy. Douglas did try to auction off the three-wheeler this fall to help pay for a new parking lot here at the church, but the car didn't fetch his minimum bid of $2,000. It cost $3,000 to build the contraption, plus a lot of love and energy. So Douglas says he may keep the dream machine. After all, how often does a dream really come true? Linda Hofstein reporting.